Now, mining giant BHP is looking at shutting down its entire WA nickel division on the back of soaring exports of cheap nickel from Indonesia and a wave of mine closures in the region. 3,300 jobs are now at risk. And Queensland National Senator Matt Canavan joins me to discuss. Great to see you, Matt. Look, is this going to mean the end of the Australian nickel industry? And, and is it the right move? Well, it's a sad, it's a sad, terribly sad uh, move for Shari. Uh, obviously, the personal impact on the 3,000 workers directly affected is 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 horrific. Uh, the 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 refinery and mines itself are, are basically the heart of a town called Cambolder in in Western Australia, about 600 kilometres west of Perth. Uh, obviously, the businesses and 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 other workers outside the mines in that town will face an uncertain future. It's it's terrible. And uh, what is doubly terrible is that this tragedy should have been avoided. But our, our naive uh, and, uh, and inept leadership that we've had at both the corporate and political level the last few, few years has caused this. This is a direct result of our net zero obsession. These are victims of our, our signing up to this unachievable, uh, fantastic target of net zero emissions. What's happening here is Indonesia is taking all these jobs. Indonesia is dominating the world's nickel markets because they are building coal-fired power stations. They uh, have expanded their use of coal in 2022 by 32% in one year to fuel this massive expansion of nickel refineries. They are capturing all the market because they've got mm. cheaper energy and they're producing the nickel cheaper. And unfortunately, the victims of our naivety won't be the corporate and political leaders have made these decisions and caused uh, this fallout. It'll be those thousands of workers in Western Australia who mm. lose their jobs. Uh, and also, we've just, in terms of in terms of energy impact, we've just seen um, a blackout and there's still about 80,000 people who don't have power in Victoria as well.